Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. You know what I might do? I, I could see myself going on a murdering rampage. Gee, well, that's even darker than what I said. I, yeah, uh, but there I've... are people who care about me and want to spend every moment. I'd rather spend it sulking in the shadows, finding people who slighted but, me once but, in sixth grade. There's like... some people who need killing. Like, I've got a list in my head. So would and, you go uh, extra on them? Is that what you do? Well, if I only it? have a month to live, I don't know that I, I, I feel like I could, I could not get caught for four weeks. Like oh, Dexter's a little extreme. I think I could just shoot a guy in another state and get back here, and they won't trace it to me for four weeks. God, it'd be a, a while. Well, that's that's a dark turn. I just really wanted to live it up and have a good time. No, Maybe. there's some people thinking. that need killing, and uh, who's yeah. on that list? It seems like you got a, quite a list. <laughs> <laughs> I've never revealed any names on the list. Uh, Safe. <laughs> just in case I decide to <laughs> to take care of some. Well, the fact that you have a list uh, already, I can just see the <laughs> like this 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 portion. Have I shown here. you my manifesto? <laughs> yeah, I play this segment in court. I just want to. I just want to be known that I <laughs> like like like. They're like as you can see here, Mr. Woodworth clearly had a list. He <laughs> he produced it for the audience. They all chuckled, and then he looked very seriously at the camera and nodded. <laughs> like, I was thinking I to myself, like, so we're rebuilding the stable right now, and the contents of it aren't secure, right? Like, we're redoing doors and stuff. And, and uh, I'm like, man, it would really suck if somebody um, robbed me. But that just happened once. That's it. Well, I, I, I guess you, you think shoot there's that? like a conclave of burglars that the guy's gonna <laughs> limp back to. Don't go! Don't go over there! I, I just went back to my. <laughs> no, no, no I'd say or, to the others. I just what feel not, like but, no. It, Woody's gonna kill the guy and then hang him in the yard for the others. To do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wouldn't crucify get, him. For I don't see myself free. getting robbed twice. I, uh, you know, uh, they, I, ideally they tell all their robber friends, but no, nah, it's certainly not the same guy. It would, it, that's killing offense. You guys got the castle doctrine up there? Yep. Yeah, well, I guess you'd probably be okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> it, 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 in your shoes, I'd probably... Pe I, a good a good birdshot peppering hurts like a motherfucker, and, mm -hmm. but, but they'll leave. And, and, and you won't, it, there won't be like a person dead in your, at your house you know, mm. that you would now have to deal with. Um, it, I feel like it'd be better to just pepper them. We'll need that backhoe after all, won't we, Kyle? Oh, God, that makes me yeah. That's weird that Woody finally decided to go with a pig farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pig farm after all. Yeah, yeah we yeah. voted against that HOA. We're all set. Yeah. You're like that guy from Snatch. <laughs> yeah, fade <laughs> them to pigs. Yeah. <laughs> you know uh -huh. what this means? <laughs> yeah, like twenty pounds of flesh a minute. Like, <laughs> so you want to see a guy who um, who runs over himself with his car? I oh. do, as long as afterwards we can watch the guy who hit the uh, the uh, the other football player with his helmet. In the head. Yeah, I like your idea, too. All right. Is that a, oh, those both sound promising. Is it the guy's fault that he gets hit by the car? Because that's always a stickler thing for me. If it's watch. just some guy walking around and he gets hit, I don't like watching it. It feels bad. But if it's some asshole trying to, like, moonwalk as he has his hands on the front of his F-150. I believe he gets, gets he's driving kind of aggressively or something, and the guy behind him bumps him. Well, I'm not sure. Ready to watch? Yeah. Uh, oh, the, like, we've been oh, watching on the uh, on the main well, screen. Well, all I'm gonna say is he should have buckled up, and this would not have happened. That's it's a nice true. ride he's got there, though. Um, he, Can he you guys really link it? Up. It's, it's linked. Link, I think it's an imager link. Oh, it's imager. You notice he's got that little toothpick thingy. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what toothpick thingy? On, on the dash, it's it's being reflected onto the the, the windscreen. In the car that's being driven, uh, Where the, do the I filming look? car. Is it green? There, no, there's one of those little toothpick things. That's yeah. Oh, that that's what that is. Then... I see. Yeah, it's the little floss, and it flies away at some point during the braking. Yeah, My God, yeah. who would have thought a Subaru driver would do that? <laughs> a Subaru WRX. Usually, they're so courteous on the road. <laughs> those things haul so much. I don't know about that one in particular because it looks like a hatchback model that I'm not familiar with. But I drove a, uh, a Subaru WRX, like whatever the performance model They're is. Quick. That they, it's all-wheel drive and 300 horsepower. Like it's outrageous, and it's a small car. It was as much power as the Mustang GT that year, but it was that little ass Subaru with all-wheel yeah. drive. I, it was. I, had I saw a, a list on the internet, and it was like the most ticketed cars. <laughs> that, I, if I recall, the Subaru WRX STI or whatever mm -hmm. the that's, that's one's it. called is 
the number one, like far and away. Like even beats Mustang and the, the little hopped up Civics that people have. It's a freeze in September in North Carolina, but I'm just happy to get the house sold, have a happy buyer, let them do their thing, and uh, and then no weird stuff will go wrong with it. Under you my ready ownership. to watch this guy get hit with a football helmet? I don't think it's oh, great for a discussion guess. or anything. I just want to see it. I'm queued up at zero. Oh, oh wait, let me... Um, you know what? We've been doing so many video watching. Let me right. fix other people's videos. Can you hang on for a second? Of oh. course. Thank so if you, you want to look at this up later, it is Linden player hits Immaculata player with helmet. Immaculata. So, Immaculata. All right. Here's so. that uh, game of football is going on. Rip roar and fun for the whole family. So I'm at I'm at zero while I fix the uh, things. I am ready as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were doing play by play. No, no, I was you're gonna just run giving the setting setup. it up. Yeah. Uh, and now I I, I, I want to look and see if I can tell who's gonna get irritable. <laughs> you know, um, on the subreddit, I've been getting a lot of advice on how to make it so that this is never a problem, and the advice is always bad. Uh, they're like, yeah, you know, the, the, there's only like two layouts that you need to save or, or scenes or something. And it's not true. They fail to account for the fact that Skype can be a different size. I don't necessarily not touch it all week long. I use it every day. They, uh, like there'd be a different layout for when Merca drops than there would for when Kyle drops or when Kyle's video turns to an avatar versus Merca. There's like 20 different combinations of things that can go wrong. The guest can do it. Kyle can do it. Taylor can do it. The guest and Taylor can do it. Like it, um, and selecting sub regions, sh Skype shuffles where they are in the app with everything. Anyway, I'm going on too long, but stop giving me advice unless you actually have a solution and you don't test it. So, uh, <laughs> are we ready? I am ready. I'm excited. Oh God. Are you back at zero? Stuff, I, can watch. I, I watched something completely different. It was horrible. I'm ready for, with the football game. Ready, set, play. <laughs> Linden, is this Jersey by chance? Someone on the black Jersey team is going to attack. Oh, you're so racist. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's because they're the defending team. They're going to get irritated when they score. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what an asshole. He rips, so he rips this guy the player's the, yeah. helmet off and hits him in the head with it. Wow. It was, and it wasn't like a cheap shot. The guy in the white jersey was trying to push back on the guy in the black jersey. And as he's falling trying to push because the guy in the black jersey is backing up, he just snatches the helmet off his head in a swift motion. I guess the guy's chin strap had kind of unbuckled. And then he swings it like he's bowling and just cracks the guy right in the top of the head. Doesn't look yeah. like it hurt him, though, which is impressive. But that was... Uh, what a piece Ooh. of shit. What an awful piece of shit yeah. to do that in I'm, a high school football. I I'm watching it in, in quarter speed now. I'm pretty sure he face masks the guy, rips the helmet off, and then it's in one motion, swings back and swings forward. And, uh, well, quarter speed is really slow. Here we go. <laughs> He's got the, yeah, he grabs it. I don't know if he is face masking. Yeah, he is. And then it's going to pop him in the head. Yeah, what he pulled the helmet off. And his head yeah, you know, jerks back when he hits it. My, um, I didn't play football, but a friend of mine did. And uh, he was always impressed by this. The coach, the coach had like just played for Michigan or something. He was kind of a badass, and all the players were so impressed because he played D1 football. And players would headbutt each other, right? It was a common thing. The players would always headbutt each other. They'd get himself, just get this guy would headbutt the players, but the players were wearing a helmet, and he wasn't. And he would like give it to them, and they always thought that was the coolest thing. So I guess somewhere right around here is the hardest spot in the uh, on the head. That's where he hit him. So I guess you can take a punch. I know with with boxing, you know, like it, if you can't give him an elbow or something, you can take a punch on the top of your like just above your forehead, and it does almost more damage to the guy's hand. Yeah, it seems yeah. like a very inopportune place to punch someone. Just running the yeah. That's it. I I feel like I'm not talented enough to like break down the Joe Lozon defense, but uh, he does kind of a George Foreman thing. Foreman used to do this too. Like it, when he clamps up like that, it, he's all fucking elbows and forehead. It's nothing that you want to punch. And uh, I, I had a very difficult time with it. I don't ever want to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that guy was a real piece of shit. He um, was, he was He's in high school penalized. Yeah. But that, that's something that, 
you just don't do. Like, that's yeah. not like a, a one time, you know, freak out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love the that word. That was the play. best shit I've ever heard.